Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. This is a beginner's tutorial video on how to create a circle mask or a webcam face crop or a circle crop, whatever you want to call it, you know, this thing. I'll also show you how to include a colored border and drop shadow for it as well. And before we begin, I just want to let you know I'm using the newest version of DaVinci Resolve. I'm using DaVinci Resolve Studio version 18.5 beta. So if you're using a different version, your screenshot layout could look slightly different. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. Okay, for starters, I'm in the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve. First thing we wanna do is place the video we want to mask above the initial video screen recording. This will often be video two on your timeline. And video track one would normally be your main footage something like a desktop screen recording, or in my case, it's often FPV drone footage. The first thing we're gonna do is add a transform effect. To do this, go to the effects tab in the upper left-hand corner and click open FX. Then use the search bar and start typing transform. Now drag the transform effect onto your top clip. Again, video track two in this example, now go to the upper right corner and select Inspector, then select Effects, and you'll see the different parameters to the transform effect. And you can click the drop-down caret in the far right-hand corner to see all the parameters available to you. Now under the Image Adjustment, locate Edge Rounding and drag it all the way to the right, which is going to give you a value of 1 and creates a perfect circle. You can also soften the edges as well using the edge softness slider as well. I'm not going to use this, but just know it's there. Now to reposition ourselves, go to the video tab here and drag the sliders under transform to position ourselves or our face within the circle wherever it is that we need it to be. And in this specific example, I'm going to use the zoom X and Y as well as the position X and Y values until I have my face scaled and positioned the way that I like. And you can go back and forth between the video and the effects tabs to get everything just the way you like it. Once you play around with both of these, you'll understand exactly what each of them are doing. Okay, so I wanna mention, you can stop here if that's all you wanna do. However, I like to stylize my circle for the face crop a little bit more, so if you're like me, um, you're gonna wanna tweak this a little more and create a colored outline around this mask and a drop shadow as well. So in the upper left corner, select Media Pool, then right click and select New Fusion Composition. We're gonna change the duration to 10 minutes and we'll give it a new clip name of something like Outline 1. Then just press Create. Now make sure that Video Track 2 is selected and we're gonna use the keyboard shortcut, which is Shift and A together, which will automatically mark both the in and the out points on your timeline. Now just drop the fusion clip called Outline 1 directly onto your viewer window and choose Place on Top. You should now have Video 3 showing up in your timeline if you've done this correctly, and the new fusion comp should fill the entire duration of Video Track 2. And I'll quickly mention that there are other ways to do this, but I feel this is one of the fastest, quickest, quickest and simplest methods of matching the Fusion Comp to another clip on my timeline. Now, all we need to do is right click on the Fusion Comp and select Open in Fusion Page. Select Effects tab at the top, then go to Tools, Shape, then the select the S Ellipse, as well as the S Render. By default, you should now see a yellow line connecting the S Ellipse node to the S Render node. And if you don't see this for some reason, all you need to do is drag the gray output node to the yellow input of the S Render node. And you'll do the same thing with the other node as well. Drag the gray S Render output node to the yellow Media Out 1 input node. Don't worry. Not much more to go here, so stay with me. We're almost there. Now just click the S Ellipse node, go to Inspector, and uncheck the box for solid, and increase the border width to something around 0.025. Next, under the Style tab, change the color to whatever you like. 
I use white in this example and just press OK when you're done. Now let's jump over to the Edit tab in DaVinci Resolve again. It's at the bottom of the screen, as I'm showing here. And I just want to jump in here. There's a little transform tool in the lower left-hand corner I'm showing here. You're going to click on that, and you're going to reposition the border over top of yourself, just like this. Once you've done that, you scale it as you need to, and then click the transform key again in that lower left-hand corner right there uh, to unselect it. Highlight both Video Track 2 and Video Track 3 so everything scales together, then right click and choose New Compound Clip. If you're familiar with Premiere Pro, which is another editing software, it's like nesting clips together in that software. Now, there are a few ways to do this, but for simplicity, select the Transform tool, and now you can drag the handles and rescale your face uh, or face cam. And you can also mouse click in the middle and drag everything around wherever you want as well. That also works. And once you have the image positioned just where you want it, just press the transform again and unselect it. And to give it one final touch, I like to use the drop shadow effect. So from your effects panel, select drop shadow. Just drag drop shadow effect onto your compound clip, which is now video track two. And from the effects option on the far right, you can change the shadow strength, the drop angle, the drop distance, blur, and color. I hope you found this helpful. And that's really it. That's how you create a headshot inside of DaVinci Resolve. Again, I'm using Studio version 18.5 beta. I did a similar video a while back if you're an Adobe Premiere Pro user as well. As some of you may know, I've recently migrated from Premiere Pro over to DaVinci Resolve. But if you're at all interested in that video, feel free to check it out. I'll put a link up here in the corner. And I hope you found this helpful. And do me a favor, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's always appreciated. Until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.